What's up, Airsofters? It's your boy Ninja doing a review, kind of uh, comparing two of the uh, revolvers I have. Now, this one right here is the Elite Force Frontline uh, Resolution. It's the uh, H8R revolver. It's a 10-shot revolver. You load the BBs in here, and you would uh, simply put, you know, make sure you put it in the right part with the little markings on it. You would put it in the back side, so you pop that right in there, and then you would flip this down, and then you'd be loaded and ready to go. Now, I kind of want to do some pros and cons. So, I've also got this little uh, Wildcat or wild card, not wild cat. I want to call it wild cat. I don't know why. But this wild card right here. The revolver is nice. I love it to death just because of the realism. The cool thing is it actually has shells that you actually load individually with one BB in there. And you will actually load it into the chamber here. I've already got one in there. And you would close it up and it would... Like I said, it rotates like a regular rod off or wood. I mean, there's pros and cons to like these. Now, the cool thing about it is the realism. The the uh, positive side is you won't lose your uh, you won't lose your uh, shells because unless you take that and lift it up, you won't lose your shells. It's a con because of the fact that you have to load those shells individually and the fact that this right here you have to pull it back every time you shoot it now it is co2 powered both these are and this is a feature that i actually recently discovered and i never even noticed until later on because i'm just i just don't pay attention i guess um both these come out you put your co2 in here and you would tighten it and What's cool is these actually come with this metal piece right here, which you would stick in there and use as an Allen key, so that way you don't have to carry an Allen key around you to take these out and reload these, which is really nice. Um, I didn't know that before, so it's a positive. So if you don't know that, it's a very awesome way to put your CO2 cartridges in and not have to carry an Allen key. Now, the con to this right here is... It is semi only. You have to cock it back every time. The positive part about this one is you do not have to cock it back every time. You can pull the trigger, cock it back once, keep, pull the trigger, pull the trigger. It'll just keep firing. And uh, that's, a, that's a, definitely a positive because you're not constantly worrying about having to pull back that, you now pull back that, uh, you know, hammer. But the problem, this is not as realistic as, you know, the uh, wild card here. Now, the the, the uh, positive hot about this is since it's full auto, well, I should say semi-auto without having to cock back the uh, hammer, you get 10 shots. This has 6 shots. So, 10 shots versus 6 shots, obviously, that's always going to be a uh, positive. Comes with 5 of these total so you can actually reload these really quick. They're really easy to reload. You pull that back. Just pop it out. It takes like a couple seconds. And the cool thing is, another thing you can do with these is real cool, is you can actually take these with both hands. And you can actually load these really, really quick. I can't really do it one-handed. But you, you get the gist. You just all the way around and... You can actually load it really quick. If you're holding it with both hands, it'll actually go inside there. And said you're loaded. It doesn't take long at all. Versus this one, you're physically loading individual bullets. And needless to say, well, shells, I should say, because they're not really bullets. But you know what I mean. So. You'd have to pull that hammer partially back just to turn it. And it comes with six extra shells. 
So you do have uh, reloadable shells, but as long as it takes to reload it, it isn't really practical for Aerosoft. But for the realism factor, I love it. Um, another thing I kind of wanted to kind of show you here. This sleek design here isn't really nice, but it's polymer. It's about, I'd say, about the same weight, just slightly lighter maybe. But it comes with fiber optic, you know, sights. This comes with a standard sight that goes on the end of this. And as it as you can tell that popped off the little plastic piece pops up it sticks up there. It's really not very accurate far as that goes, you know, it's not a really reliable sight as that thing can pop off. Now I'm gonna kinda show you this right here. What's cool about this said I didn't cock it back. Don't have to cock it back. See how accurate that is. I was aiming at that uh, table, chair, or whatever you call it, table, little pole, and it hit it. See? And that's 10 shots versus 6 shots. Quick, quick reload, pop it out, pop another one in, pop it down, ready to go again. See what I'm saying here. It's cool is uh the quick reload. Yeah, like I said, it comes five of these. This only comes with 12 bullets, so gonna be a pain in the ass to reload. This right here, like I said, is very easy to reload. Very simple. You can simply reload it. Like I said, I don't even have to hold it really. Let's reload it. And if you have one of these speed reloaders, it makes it a lot quicker. But if you hold it with two hands, it's a lot easier to reload, obviously. But you get the gist of it. So, pop it in, pop it out, pop that down. It's also got a safety feature here. I forgot to mention that. Push that up. Can't fire it. So it's got a safety on it. This right here doesn't really have a safety on it. I mean, I wouldn't call this a safety because this is such a pain in the ass. I mean, look at this. In order to take it off to safety, I literally have to take my whole hand off the gun and crest forward. That is a disadvantage. This right here, this safety right here, all I have to do is flip it up. Ready to go. Flip it back. See? Ready to go. Advantages of the H. AR are way outweighing the wild card. Plus, you yeah, think this is $139. This is $60. Well, 60. Well, let's see here. I think it was like 60. Yeah, $69.99. Way better value. Cheaper. Better accuracy. Better sights. Better reloads. Don't have to cock it back. Cons all the way for this one. Like, too many cons on this one versus this one. This one is too many pros. I'm telling you right now, this is the way to go. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the realism of this. It's just, it doesn't compare to this. It really doesn't. This thing has got to be one of the best revivers I've owned, so... And if you really want to, you can actually take that tip off. Or you can paint it. It's not a big deal. I took the tip off of this one. 
But like I said, uh, I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Sorry it was a little long and I'm rambling now. But let's turn it out. Like and subscribe.